So we have Chitian Dashing Ban. Oh, that's a very early Shizuka Giana. I'm not sure if I like that. Definitely something that you could pick up like a Juno something right now. If you go Juno Pra, yeah, Juno Ragdoll. Definitely liking those picks over there. I don't think Shizuka is that strong right now. Plus, it kind of shares counters with Giana as well. Ginky is a nice pickup into that. But, hmm, I'm not too sure. Because Monkey G class still has like, a, let's just call him Monkey that makes it a lot easier. Fire Cassandra, definitely two nice pickup units with the Shizuka as well. Ginkly definitely does help out. But I would also say that on the other side, if you go something along the line of like a Hey Gang plus something, exactly that Hey Gang over there, the man is reading my mind. Hey Gang plus something, but you have to keep in mind, you probably have to reset the Cassandra. That is an option on the Chunk Punk, which also still have to deal with that Kinky. And I think the units on that field can't really deal with Kinky, but Josephine does. So that's definitely nice. Uh, do either of them have Jackson? I don't think so. Would also not be fitting in this draft too much. Uh, meow Meow, what is your last pick? I would say that you probably have to respect the Josephine, knowing that what would be a solid pick for you. Goes for Tessarion. Um, has no healing whatsoever, but actually, funny enough, we have a lot of supports on the field. Like, if you check the types, we have a shit ton of supports on the field, but barely any of them actually got any healing. So we have Heigang ban, we have Tessarion ban, so the Gianna's gonna go for skill 3. Um, I would say that Monkey G class, well, you have the Ragdoll Juno combination. It kind of depends if the... Cassandra is able to take out the Juno. If that's the case, then Miyama has like a decent draft here. I definitely say that the... I don't like the opening of Shizuka plus Gianna that much, but having that Kinky makes it that a lot of the units that you would normally like to draft into don't work that well. So let's see what happens over there. We have a great stun on the Shizuka, actually. That's definitely very beneficial. You have to land this. Does land it on the Gianna. Gianna does not proc out, so you can re start resetting things. Did not reset, so that's Ripperino on that cycling. Did increase the cool time over there. Definitely good damage. Wow, we have that armor break sticking from that uh, Kinky, though. And with that sticking of the armor break, this S2 might already kill that Juno. Ooh, good damage. 16k on the Juno. Frocker on that one. We have 100 res on the Oliver. Yeah, with that, that Juno, this match definitely becomes a lot more difficult. I would say, yeah, you have to land this on the Gianna. Uh, okay, goes for the Cassandra is an option, but if you landed that on the Gianna, it would have been a lot better because you don't have your uh, skill cycling right now. Well, Cassandra would have had skills up now. It's actually a good chance to go for the stunner on the Cassandra. We do have the Josephine that can deal with Kinky and that kind of stuff, but Oliver leaving the battlefield pretty soon is not too great. You have to kill the Gianna right now, but Cassandra has skills up, so Cassandra will start killing things. Plus, you have all things in nature with the Shizuka right now. Plus a proc, so you can bring Gianna back Gianna into an S3. Yeah, I definitely do think that this is a win from Yao Yao. Yeah, definitely. I don't like the opener of Shizuka Gianna, but it works out right here. Because he had like a good follow-up on like the slot 3 and the slot 4 pick. We're going back to like the uh, first round and the third round where... Meow Meow had this comfortable early Shizuka, which I still don't really know how that works. <laughs> is Wajet still meta? Definitely is. Okay, more CP most likely, or more Juno is also an option. More Juno, goes for it, okay. Do we go back for the Tessarion right now? Tessarion is somewhat in a worse position because of that more. Last time we had the Kinky plus, uh, what was the Kinky? Kinky Tessarion, we go back to those, okay. Why is uh, Meow Meow not playing Nefties? Because Nefties not that great, apparently. <laughs> okay, Fire Cookie. Definitely not a bad draft here. Meow Meow is definitely having some flex picks in there, which are definitely very solid. On the other side, do you want to bring it back with like a Miles Raccoonie right now? It should be that... It could be an option, but if you go for Chung Pung right now, you already know like a thousand percent sure you're banning out that Lucia, which is the Fire Pure Vanilla, which isn't that comfortable at a position. Okay, 100% ban on that cookie. So Meow Meow has a free fifth pick, knowing that his cookie is going to get banned. So with that, you could actually just um, Douglas right now, ban out the more, and he has to ban that cookie. 
Otherwise, he's super fucked. Yeah, Douglas. Douglas ban more insta GG. Okay, goes for the Verde Heil. The reason I don't like Verde Heil as much over here is because Verde Heil can get stunned by Chung Pong. We have seen the Chung Pong being on despair. So I would say a Douglas would be stronger in this position because a Douglas would guarantee that either your Douglas or Lucia would pretty much instantly win the match. Whereas Verde Heil, if it gets stunned, Lucia banned, you could be in a little bit more troublesome scenario. And in this case, okay, we do have the... Yeah, that's the weird thing, like where if you pull the Douglas, then the more ban would have been obvious. In this case, Chunk Punk ban is not too bad, I would say. But you could still get full on stunned right now. So if the robot does do a lot of work, lands on everything, does have two counters over there. Hmm, let's see Robo and more. You have to get a lot of stuns. We do get a stun on that one, okay. But in this case, you can't really go for the cycling all too much. You have to land it on Gianna, but it's just a half one. And oh, he expected this Robo to cut, but it didn't yet. We have all things in nature, and that's just providing the stun right now. The thing is, we don't have that much sustain on the side. Oh, not an armor break. That's definitely an armor break you would like to see. And that's definitely a stun you would like to see on that side, though. But we have that Lucia, like, time and time going in with heals. We didn't get too many strips, though. For the Robo going S3 right now, it's not really in a comfortable position. Going in for some more comfortable stunners over there. But we have the Lucia with the healing coming in. And this is actually a pretty big heal, like 10k. That's definitely a solid heal right there. And we have the Kinky dropping in more and more damage. So... We have to be able to get those kinky into stunts, and that's why we have that armor break. In this case, you could start on the S3 starting from kinky. I think that's the way to go. Does land it. Right side doesn't land it. That is definitely too bad. Because right now, Gianna would probably take out... Well, not really yet. Oh, we have another resistor on the increase on that Gianna right there. We don't have skills up on that one yet. Skill 2 would kill here if it strips before. Didn't strip before. The strip was resisted. So in that case, actually, the Soul Protect prevails. But we still have the Robo going in with some damage. Robo's actually quite tanky, not doing too much damage. Oliver missing that cycling over there. We do need that Robo or the more or the Juno to Despair Stun at some point on that kinky bunch of times. We do have another good Despair Stun on that Shizuka. Can we take out that cookie right now? Because the cookie is healing quite some. Okay, we have that going. That's definitely a beneficial proc over there for that Oliver. Once again, missing the pushbacks. But we do not have skills on that Robo yet. The moment that Robo goes online with those skills, it is definitely bad news for Meow Meow. But until then, can that Robo actually die to a Kinky S1 right now? That's going to be the big question. Can this S1 do it? We had armor break in the second hit and therefore you don't do enough damage. No Procarino on that one. And then we have Robo going in with the skill 3. If you land on this Kinky, does land on the Kinky, goes once again on the right, lands it on the right. And that probably makes it a victory for Monkey G-Class in a pretty weird matchup, I would say. Yeah, in this case you keep pushing back and then these units don't do all too much. And that is where I say Shizuka is not that great because the moment Shizuka doesn't take any useful turns, that means GG. And it took a bunch of matches where Shizuka actually did a decent amount. But in the end, Meow Meow loses in a 3-2. Let's see. We have all of our first pick on Kamecha on side, Diligent. Do you go straight into Laura kind of stuff? More Tian Lang? Yep, Tian Lang definitely a great counter into all of her right there. Uh, that more is most likely Swift. At least we have seen Swift before from Diligent on previous prelims, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is definitely a comfortable situation where you can pick in that Laura. But I guess Kamichan is also somewhat prepared for that Laura. But going in with like Laura, even Nefties right now, is pretty solid. Goes for Chunk Pong instead. Is decent, but I'm not sure if I like it too much. Chung Pong doesn't do too much against Miles, and Chung Pong does nothing against Marsha, so. But I think that Chung Pong is more of a pick, like, okay, you cannot go free lulling on long cool time units on the skill tree. And that is definitely something that I've been picking up uh, lately as well. Sonia plus Chiwo combination. And I definitely do like the combination of that. Big issue is, however, 
Are you fast enough? But that Sonya is probably a must ban because she cannot just go in like a Tian Lang right now and expect it to get in there. We have the Nefties going in there. I guess it would be a Sonya ban, but Kamichan is not in a bad spot with that 33 lead if the Chiwo is pretty fast. So it's the heavy LD draft against the heavy non-LD draft. Sonya's probably must ban. Like, I don't see a world where you can keep Sonya on the battlefield over here. Other side, you have a bunch of options which you could ban now. Probably that Tian Lang might be a decent option. Or you could even go for the more and then the Chiwa has a cleaner um, S3. But I would say Tian Lang probably. Okay, we have Chiwu ban and we have Nefti's ban. Pretty interesting both sides, I would say. And this is going to be the big question of... Is the Sonya strong enough to actually kill anything? Like, he's already praying to, like, the gods of, like, please let my rune quality on the Sonya be strong enough. We have Miles going in first. Miles following up by Sonya. However, the speed units on the side of Diligent are pretty high. So if you go into that Laura right now, your damage gap isn't that much. But you have Martian moving next. We have 39k over there. And, yeah, this is... Oh, that resistance, though. That is a huge resistance. If that actually landed, both of the hits would have been way better. We do have a resist over there on the uh, Oliver as well. So let's see. Do you go for S2 right now? Or are you going to set up armor break? Sets up armor break. 3.2Ks already. Man, diligent damage on that TL lane is insane. So right now, man, look at the amount of damage on that. Laura TL lane damage is just fucking insane, man. He's just going to win on those two. Like, he doesn't even need that. We have field filler on that Chung Pung. We don't give a shit. Like, everything is half that already. Like, this S1, how much damage? So like, those 3Ks again? You probably kill on this, right? 3.5Ks, man. Get this out of here, man. Speed buff, defense buff. That's insane, man. Yeah, that's just what people were asking. Like, is Laura still good, man? Look at those buffs that Laura's giving. You're not doing jack shit damage. We have one more turn for that unit. Yeah, and you don't have that on fire. So you will have to kill it right now. You can wait for it to kill it on something else. Attack break, still no skills. But you have to kill it right here. If you don't kill it right here, you're kind of inting diligent. Does kill it right here. 3.5Ks. God damn. Yeah, okay. He has godlike runes, man. That is absolutely insane. Like, holy shit, man. Diligent didn't win this one on draft. Diligent won this one absolutely on room quality. I think Kamichan misplayed for sniping, uh, not sniping Laura Tian Lang. I think that he was afraid that these units had too much stats. Because if you did S2 on the Laura, probably you would have hit like 29k or so, or like 25k. Because the speed gap between the two units is less. I think he would have killed it because the Miles moved first as well. But yeah, this is uh, some uh, room gapping right there. That's definitely true. Okay, Oliver going that side. Yeah, and then you get Tian Lang again. Very simple with that morph being picked up. Let's see how that goes this time. We're going back for exactly how that is for uh, round one. Diligent, do you run back the same draft as well? Steals the segment in this case, goes for the Chung Pung. So in this case, we would see that Alora probably doesn't fit this draft anymore too much. Because if Kamichan runs it back on the Chiwu, Chiwu Sonya, the big question is who is faster, Sonya or a segment? Like, does Diligent infest the fastest runes into a... Whoa, we could go for that. It goes for a Karno instead. Doesn't go for the Sonya over here. Definitely strong too. Like in Draft of Kamichan, it's pretty much... Uh, I was going to say a lot of non-sustain, a lot of just full gas on damage. But goes back for a Riley. I'm not too sure if the Riley would do all too great in here. Riley is okay into silence because Riley doesn't give about sh uh, shit about silence because he can still do the skill 4. But the Riley pivot, I'm not really sure too much if I like that. Same with the Carnal. But we have a Nefties coming on the other side. And I definitely do like a Nefties draft in here. In this case, if you were to ban off, I would say Tian Lang is high value ban. On the other side, you might want to aim into that Oliver. Or do you respect the Riley? Does respect the Riley? Actually, respecting both the Riley and the Nefties over here. So that will be first turn on that Miles. Or is the segment actually incredibly fast? Now, first turn will go to Miles, most likely. Miles, can you stun? We have segment following up. 
does land the stun. Oh, we actually have the Masha being incredibly fast. That is a super fast Masha. Masha, are you going to land on that Tian Lang? Yep, that's some good damage on the Tian Lang. But if we get the double strip over here that we need, get the double strip. Chung Pung, can you actually land all of that on the Oliver? Lands on the Oliver, increases the cool time on the Oliver. Did not do it on the Moor and the Carnal, though. We're going to need some glancing from this unit. Armor breaks, glancing is what we're looking for. Armor break, glancing is what we get on almost all units. And that's definitely very beneficial for Diligent at this moment. I would say that the more is already pretty good for cleanup on the whole team. You could even hold back on this S1 because there's already armor break and glancing on the enemy side. And Kamichan definitely, ah, this is a difficult position. Almost managed to kill off the TL lane, but look at the TL lane damage. 5.3 Ks across the board on those units that were armor broken. Holy shit, that is just so fucking much damage on that TL lane. I'm pretty sure that TL lane is crit rate slot 4 or some shenanigans. That is so fucking much damage. Like, the way yeah, he knew, like, moment I don't kill this Tia Lang, Tia Lang killing me. That's some insane freaking Tia Lang right there. You still have the uphill battle of this Swift more, which is also just casually doing a shit ton of damage. But the Tia Lang damage from Diligent is just insane. Well, that was speed running some matches over there. <laughs> Tia Lang doing amputation magic. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's see. Vanessa first pick. Interesting. Definitely something we see more on ladder. Definitely, these two players are definitely playing more something that we see on ladder. Pretty fast dress, both sides, but definitely liking Chiwu Cigar. I was playing that the other day as well. But Ganymede Yan Hong, that seems like an old meta. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we forgot to do predictions. We, we can start doing predictions uh, starting next match. But Yan Hong, Ganymede, definitely like the combination of those two. Issue you have is that Ganymede or the Yan Hong S2 is inconsistent. If it lands, it's very strong. Asher and Masha were definitely playing the speed game here, both sides. Absolutely a lot of speed game. Let's see. Let's see. Are we going to see Hathor? No, this is not a comp that you would Hathor. Like, Hathor is not. Yodayo could play Hathor, but I don't think he will over here. Yudaya does have the Nefties open, but I'm not sure if the Nefties fits here that well. Goes for Firth. Firth is not bad, but Firth Carnal. Kind of safe-ish picks. But let's see what Zizong likes to play. There is, if you remove the Yan Hong, you only have the Vanessa as Strip. You could go for a Wusa last pick, but I would say that Wusa last pick probably gets banned as well. But I would still say that it's a pretty strong pick. Also, Hey Gang would be very strong over here as well. I would, yeah, Hey Gang definitely counters out that third and also the Carnal a bit. Goes for a different immunity route into Shizuka. I would have liked the Wusa a little bit more than Shizuka, I would say here. But still a decent option right there. Funny enough, if you picked a Susano, Susano would have probably cleared like all water units or even a Minato. Minato would have uh, been maybe a must ban because none of these units can really deal with a Minato, right? Like if you have a hundred resistance Minato, it would fuck up that whole team. But in the end, we have the final pick being uh, banned anyways. And we have Vanessa being banned. So we definitely have first turn going to Zizong. And it's going to be the question of can the Vert be um, glanced? And can the Vert also be taken down? We have speed buff on the Chiwu. Speed buff Chiwu S3 does do a lot of damage. But we definitely are looking at that Vert. Vert is glance, does get double counter on glancing. Damn, double counter on glancing. That's definitely unlucky for Zisong right here. We have glancing on this skill. Does manage to stun one as well. If we boost up right now, you would kind of have to go for that skill too. We have the cigar moving next. Lands the skill too as well. And therefore, Yodayo is taking over this match. And it looks very favorable for Yodayo at this moment. We still have to get rid of the Masha. Masha has the S2 potential. A lot of damage. That's a good amount of damage and a good procker as well. Nearly taking out the Jian Hong. And I think Masha will lap that turn once again as well. Not too much going on over there. But we have to land the Provoke right now. Does land the Provoke, otherwise that unit would be gone. But in this case, we have Masha moving after this. And we have the uh, Cigar moving after that as well. So we can't really do all too much into the Masha. And the Juno will leave battlefields. Procs once again. Okay, we definitely have some uh, procs going back and forth on those. 
if we, I would definitely go for S2 on that third right now. Because there's already a debuff on it. Decides to go for the Carnal. Doesn't like to go for it. Definitely a good option as well. Maybe a little bit more of a safer play. But if you were to take out the third, the match is literally over already. Skill 2. Double 4k. Not too much damage. With this Marsha. Like a old streamer would say. Two turn every turn. Two turn every turn. This Marsha. Two turn every turn. And uh, yeah, that's uh, wow. <laughs> That is uh, pretty freaking, uh, Marsha's, uh, Marsha came here to win. Let's call it on that one. Marsha definitely came to win. Do we go two turn every turn? No, almost. <laughs> Takish? No, not Takish. Why do you see Okay, it did look pretty favorable for Udaya with that first counter double critter. But Marsha was definitely a strong uh, pickup over there. Let's see, do we get that Masha? Probably Masha something, but Asher? Asher Mayo Wang. Mm, I kind of like that. Like the Mayo Wang has a lot less protection because it does uh, not have the immunity every time it takes a turn. So for that reason, I'm not sure if I'm liking the Mayo Wang too much. He might go into a Mayo Wang plus Masha at a later moment. Or he's expecting to have Yodayo better counter onto a Masha this time and therefore goes for the Mayo Wang. Because Mayo Wang, you can't stun it. Masha, you can't stun it. Goes for Nefties, goes for a Sekhmet, so definitely strong units over there. I definitely do like the combination of Yeon Hong plus Nefties. That's absolutely a strong combination over there. And right now, a I would say that a Masha kind of feels less fitting, because then you probably lose your Chiwu. However, well, there's three single target strips on the side of Yudai, which makes it interesting as well. Going in with the Juno, okay. Big question is also, Juno is definitely a strong pick. Maybe a pick that you have to respect. On the other side, um, I would say the main damage output is probably that Nefties setup. So if you ban out the Nefties, do you have enough other stuff going on to clear the whole match? Or Jedi, do you even have enough damage? Well, Yan Hong with some armor break setup does have a lot of damage. But let's see if that is going to be enough. But I do expect the Juno ban. Juno ban and we have Vanessa ban. So in this case, we're checking who's the fastest. And I would say that Seasong, if he really likes his Asher, might actually pick up the Asher. Yeah, Asher might first turn. Asher is first turn. And that is definitely not great for your dial. Because if you S2 right now, Chiwo S3, Cigar S3, it might be a pretty overmatch already. Oh, we didn't push back. We did not push back over there. We're pushing up the segment and we have to go for this reset right now. Reset onto the cigar. Do you land it? Does land it. We still have this monkey going in with the skill too. And we still have glancing on the uh, nefties. And glancing on nefties is definitely the worst thing you can see pretty much. Also provokes the nefties and lands that. Oh, okay. We're going heavy damage into the... Uh, not too much damage actually while well, the monkey needs a little bit of time to start stacking to do anything but that double uh, provoke definitely helps out a lot and we cannot shake off that armor break we do get a procker over there we definitely have to go for this s2 right now even though you have glancing but you have to give that a chance to land silence as well doesn't land jack shite in this case i would probably save the s2 i would go for a skill three over here reset something and then go for the Yep, also does go for it. Takes the speed buff, definitely smart over there. But in this case, Monkey, can you go for stunners? There were no glances land by that Nefties being shit on glancing. We have Cigar going pretty close for skills back as well. Just one turn away from that. Lands to provoke once again, even throw, even though the glancing. Armor breaks glancing. We do land a lot of armor breaks glancing this time, but we have to provoke on that Yan Hong. We have a lot of debuffs on the Monkey as well. However, we are having all skills. Oh, that Procker though with a little bit of healing. Monkey not doing all too much damage more. Thank you, Monkey, it seems. But we have the S3 coming in from that Cigar. You have Glancing right now. Not gonna land it on the segment for sure, but it's going for that Reset. Reset, who are you gonna land it on? You're gonna go for that, okay, doesn't land it. At least got the increased cool time. That was the main important thing. With that Procker, you could go for an Armor Break and a Provoke. Do you go on the Nefties? Does go for the Nefties, a little bit of spreading damage there as well, but I think it's fine in this case. And Yodayo concedes. 3-0. No. 
that went a lot more favorable for uh, Zizong than I expected. Like all three matches, I would say. Yeah, Cigar wasn't really fitting there. Like Cigar into Miles, Rakuni, Oliver is not really the greatest of pick. Like Cigar is fine as like a first pick, but the moment it's not in the draft yet, and you can pick it up in a slot three and four if you already see Miles, Rakuni, that kind of stuff, I would probably not pick up the Cigar. And we have Narshaban, Ragdoll Ban. Interesting ban on both. Like both units are not necessarily like the super tier meta right now that we see a lot. We're going to see a Cigar Finesse being picked up by Takuso. Definitely like those units over there. We have Laura Rakuni. Rakuni is not really fitting. Well, Rakuni is as a counter on Cigar. Kind of makes sense. Does Takuso have like a weird Laura counter? Because Laura does do a lot of damage. But rather goes for LDs with Yeon Hong and Nefti's definitely solid units over there. But Laura's definitely one of those units that you can really trap. Uh, Light Ivor. I feel like the Light Ivor doesn't fit here that well. And we have a Mei Wang. So definitely Bruiser side from Duchon. Not really the most comfortable draft that he could make, I would say. Let's see on the other side. Like on the other side, couldn't you just simply go for, let's say, Erika and then ban out the. Oliver. Well, you kind of still have to fight the Rakuni, though. There's a few options right now that you could ban the Rakuni and just go for any kind of damage units that could do a, quite a lot of work. You're just fighting that Oliver with resets. That's the only thing that is a little bit annoying. Goes for Marsha. Marsha definitely strong there as well. I would probably say banning off that Rakuni or banning out that Oliver. Other side... I would say that's fearing that Nikki. Nikki might do a lot of damage over there. Let's see what we have for drafts. Uh, let me continue to farm on my alts and my main and my everything. We have Rakuni ban, we have the Masha ban. Definitely makes sense for removing quite some of the damage over there. And I have to select stupid rocks to keep on farming. Okay, Light Ivor moving next, Yeon Hong moving after, but we have it stunned. In this case, do we go... Whoa, there's not Will Runes on Takuso. Where are your Will Runes at? Well, still decides to go for a skill 3 because of the speed buff. We did have Nemesis on that unit though, so the Nemesis was triggered and therefore moves next. And returning quite some damage. However, with the defense buff, it didn't do all too much damage. And the units are pretty wide open on the side of Tatsuko right now. We do have Yan Hong with some sustain, but I think the Oliver will take care of that as well. And Oliver does. As to mm, good stunners, but not on the one unit that you wanted it most. Yeah, this is a victory. This is definitely a victory of showcasing that Laura is the better OG. How well could... I would say that if Takuso picked up a Douglas 5th pick, banning off that Mei Wang could have, been a, uh, could have been a thing. Or even... I would say that Antares wouldn't have been that int. Like, Antares would be... Okay, Antares is not that great into defense buff. But there were a lot of useless-ish turns on the side of Duchan with Light I4, Rakuni, Oliver. It's not necessarily useless turns, but a lot of turns. And a lot of turns means that a Antares becomes more interesting as well. So in this case, we have Oliver ban, we have the Laura ban. Picking up first pick. Do we go back on Vanessa? We go back on that uh, Vanessa. Duchan, do we go for Cigar kind of things early on? Or... Because your Oliver is gone right now. You could go for an early Laura, but... Oh no, wait, Laura's gone as well. We go for double speed leads in more and Nefties. Somewhat early on the Nefties, but Duchan is definitely one that can get away with it. Because he has a lot of other LDs to back it up, pair up with it. We see Heikeng Chengfeng. Definitely two strong units over there. Narsha. 
mm, not too sure if it fits too well because you have that hay gang on the field and that hay gang on the field is definitely very strong into Duchon right now Raccoonie, Mei Wang, I'm not sure if I'm liking that draft it's going back once again to the Bruiser-ish style it's definitely countering the uh, Chunk Punk but is it countering enough though? We see Yan Hong and Narsha popping up on the other side. And we have Leo. Leo is 100% must ban. That is for sure. So you have to fight the Ranuki in this case. Other side. What is the draft that, or the ban that makes most sense? I think you probably... You could remove speed leads or you have to play into the Narsha. Okay. Picks up a Kinky. Kinky makes it a little bit more open where you could say like, okay, I might uh, ban the Kinky. I might not ban the Kinky. But probably, like a Leo was 100% guaranteed ban. But in this case, it's not really a guaranteed ban, I would say. I would say that, that Kinky definitely has high value for banning. But the Rakuni, though. On the side, Narsha, is that too much damage? Narsha is too much damage. Rakuni is also too much damage. In this case, getting rid of the Kinky might be pretty difficult. But it is possible. We have Yan Hong taking first turn. Do we go for skill 2? Goes for skill 2. Does land it in one of the final hits, I think. Do we go skill 2 right now into skill 3? Decides not to go for... Ooh, okay, interesting. I would have probably st still skill 3, but he rather goes for pushbacks over there. But yeah, the pushbacks, you don't have the glancing right now. And this is where they start outpacing you as well. Because if this landed a bunch of stunts, you would have been in a bad spot as well. Uh, doesn't... Decides to go for stunners rather than for armor breaks. Armor break didn't land on that one. Resistance awakening on that Vanessa. Helping out a little bit over there. S2. You could do the S2 to take out the Nefties right now. Does go for it. Gets another procker. S1. Increases the cool time on the monkey as well. Probably want to drop the glancing on the monkey. But we still have that kinky on the battlefield. If the kinky isn't stunned. Armor break is nice on it though. But it needs that stun to be out of the value for that kinky. And as long as the kinky is not stunned. He will have a lot of stuff going to it. We have a bio more. We don't see that all too much. Skill 2 probably kills 20k on armor break. That is definitely a very good rune of kinky. Kinky on that armor break right now. Do you go for that S2? I think you do do enough damage. Goes for it. 6k per hit. That's a lot of damage. That is no critting damage. Just an armor break. And Vanessa, two turn every turn. Can you take out the Kinky right now? Kinky 5k, you take it out. And that is a victory for Takuzo. At least, I don't really see him coming back from this. Can he do some miracle work on the monkey? Oh, okay, okay. Miracle work on the monkey. Miracle work on the monkey. Match not over yet. At all, actually. No, wait. Monkey is back for the S2. You need to glance it. Doesn't land the glancing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, we do have that skill. Go. That's the annoying thing. Like, the Vanessa passive is so short. Like, at some point, you just forget how short it is. And now you uh, boost back and forth. And in this case, Yan Hong has too. We've seen a lot of damage on that on the Kinky before. 9Ks takes it out. Yeah, that's what makes Vanessa so strong. More. Can you solo this? No way you solo this, More. No way you... Ooh, that's some good damage. Wait, More actually might be able to solo this. 6Ks? Wait. Wait. Wait, there's no skills. We need the glancing. We don't get the glancing. We get the S2. Wait, more. Are you going to solo this because you're bio? Wait, the S2. The S2 will kill, right? The S2 will kill. Oh, that was such a close match. That was really back and forth. Holy shit. Okay, that was definitely a dope match right there. That was super close. I think he made a mistake killing the Yan Hong. Well, killing the Yan Hong was a lot squishier than Vanessa. Like, Vanessa is definitely a tank unit. Uh, Rika last pick. I'm not sure. We have all with the primer. Good morning to you as well. Last pick, though. Good morning, sir. Do we go for some healing, raccoon -y kind of style? Or do we go for some more protection? Or are we just going to go in full damage? Douglas. Wait, what is your Douglas angle right here? Because Rako can deal with it, Abelio can kind of deal with it. So I would say that's a ban. Oh, okay, ban on the Ragdolls. Keeping that Abelio in. Okay, first turn will most likely go to the Athna, Laura moving afterwards. Then the big question is, is the Cigar stunned or not? Because if the Cigar is not stunned, Cigar can do a lot of work over here. 
We have the we can go for an S2 even. Does decide to go for skill three. Does not get anything. In this case, can you do some chip damage? No, there's no way. There's defense buff on the cigar. There's no way you're actually going to do anything. Nice slow on that one, however. Vio, ooh, that's a fast one. Wait, does that make the Athna Vio as well, or is it just boosted up by Nem? You have to go for this cigar right now, but uh, can you land it? Goes for the Oliver, doesn't land it. That's actually a Vio Athna as well. I was looking at the attack bars and it didn't make too much sense. And if you go into that Oliver right now again, what the hell is these? That did some cycling in half from that unit right there and kills it. What the hell? Vio Athna. You like Vio Athna is normally not good, but if your Vio Athna does that, then suddenly your Vio Athna is good. Like what the fuck, man? It went six. It went full Diana. That unit went more turns than Diana normally does. <laughs> Duchen is mad. Yeah, I can imagine that. Like that's not a unit that you expect to have that way. We still see a bunch of strong units on the other side, though. But is it going to be enough? Because that Vio Athna is going to be very dangerous every time. Okay, we have some progress back on that. Oh, definitely a provoke that we needed to land. Can we land that sleep? Resisted the sleep. That resist of the sleep is absolutely huge. Because if you had that sleep landed, you would have had another turn. You would have had and been like full AOE armor broken and everything. There is going to be S3 again. Once again, uh, this is going to be very... You have to stun it. Does get the stun out there right now. Sleep? No, no sleeps. He definitely needed that sleep right now. If he had that sleep earlier, it would have been good. But Tatsuko is taking out one of the fan favorites over here. With a Vio Ethna. Damn. Did not expect. Well, same as last year, to be honest. The Japanese players taking out fan favorites. But this is Duchon in the first round, and he actually, well, apparently good friend of him. Good sportsmanship over there, and GG to Duchon. Tatsuko, very well played. C Cigar being picked up already. Diligent side this time. We have Light Ivor as Ben, pretty interesting as well. Okay, Diligent going for a pretty interesting draft right here with the Bracuni. Juno would have definitely fit in there, definitely do agree, but the Bracuni in there... It feels a little bit like too much of a safe pick from Diligent, okay? I think Diligent can go happy on that draft. Veramos, you don't really care counted Veramos that much on this field yet. Gianna and Wu Yong. Uh, I feel like that you just Juno once again. Like if uh, Diligent has a Seimei and Juno, well, I'm, you might like damage then. I think you need a little bit more damage, but yeah, if you got Juno Miles, you'd probably just fuck him up. Like, yeah, this is definitely Juno all day. Like, to be honest, everything on the left side is just fucked by Juno. I would actually go to fire units into this. Miles, definitely not bad. Well, you have the Miles Rakuni widget. Like, what is stronger than Miles Rakuni? Miles Rakuni widget. And Douglas, Douglas is bad. Douglas ban, Miles ban, most likely. Or would you ban Juno? I would probably ban the Juno, even though the, the Miles is annoying, but I would probably still ban the Juno. But yeah, this draft is uh, definitely favorable for uh, Diligent in this case. Cigars, maybe not going to do all too much, but the other units definitely do clean it up. We have a Juno ban and we have the Douglas ban. So let's see how good that Miles pick was over there. I would say that there are better picks than... Well, Miles makes it easy to just stumble in damage. And Miles can be like super tanky and that kind of shit. And with Widget, Bracconi is going to take thousands of turns anyways. First turn, going to the Sekhmet. Reset, Cigar misses. Well, we have the Chunk Punk skill 3 coming in. Dropping Bomb misses. Gianna is such a great unit. Yeah, you have to tumble in the damage into that Miles. Or that. Not bad damage on that S1, but was a tech buff. We can get this pair stun and increase cool time on that Cigar. That's definitely useful. But in this case, any of the damage that you do... Yeah, I think that's definitely smart to go for that because any damage that you do will pretty much stick until there is the um, Amuse again. And that will be a few turns away. So this could be good damage. It's decent damage. Not the greatest. Well, still managed to kill off a unit. Okay, getting those Despair Stunts on the Chung Pung definitely shows more value than I thought. Also, uh, landing as many armor breaks as he did might be favorable. Wait, are we actually winning here? Interesting draft. So the Miles actually didn't do too much. Well, it did do good damage, but 
there could have been something stronger that like the Wuyong is actually showcasing more than I thought it would. Also the Chunpong Dispairs. Okay. That's actually pretty good damage from that uh, Gianna's one. And we got some more healing going in. Wait, we're actually winning over here. From Monkey. Not bad. Really not Wuyong is stronger than I thought. Uh-oh, the Raccoonie though. The Raccoonie though. I would not boost up the Miles right now. I would definitely boost up self. If you get rid of that Wuyong, you have to get rid of that Wuyong. Yes, yeah, stuns it, procs it. Oh, 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 no. Okay, he still wins. Okay, he still wins. Never mind. Okay, Vio on that. Fair. You still have to drop damage on the Raccoonie. Okay, make sure about that Raccoonie. You still have to kill that Wuyong first. Uh, I think Monkey has a chance. Yeah, Monkey wins. Even though that Miles went pretty hefty, though. Okay, not bad, not bad. Wu Young on uh, Swift with a Vio Gianna. Not too bad, not too bad. Maybe he should have first killed the Juno, actually, rather than the Ivor. Would that have been better? I'm not sure. I think the match would have been more open with the Ivor uh, alive and the Juno dead. But that's also a hindsight thing to say, because we knew that the Juno was dispersed on all the fucking time. I don't like this light Ivor. Yeah, for me it's also like, I feel it's kind of weird. Like, I feel it's kind of strong, but also not super strong. Like, it feels like it's taking a lot of turns where I would say like, oh, it's nice, but not crazy good. And Diligent stealing off the segment right now. I'm not too sure if that's a comfortable pick for Diligent or that's his like 60th ruined unit, but just stealing it. But let's see how that works out. We have Monkey picking up the Wuyong once again. Going into the more, more Tian Lang. Okay. We have that Laura still open. Laura not picked up a single time in this uh, matchup so far. Juno on the other side. Not that great into Tian Lang, but definitely good into segment. Tablo. Okay. Monkey has some strange picks, but I'm definitely. Liking the Tableau in a certain way. Because Tableau is a counter to Tian Lang. Sort of. But do you bring enough damage? Well, Wuyong has showed us like a decent amount of damage. But it was decent amount of damage on attack buff and armor break. So you need both of them to actually get anywhere, I would say. So I'm not sure if that is going to be enough, though. With a Vanessa speed lead. Hmm. Diligent is drafting somewhat... Strange as well. Praha on the other side. So Praha definitely does say that you're probably banning out that Tian Lang. And I would say that you have to respect the Praha as well. Because the only unit that can actually deal with the Praha is that more or the Tian Lang. So probably Praha is banned. Plus it's pretty high on the healing uh, potential as well. And you don't really have a good answer into Daydream in the first place. That one is gone, and we have the segment being gone. So, big question right now is how... F well, we actually have a Swift more. I think it is a Swift more. Swift more could definitely fuck him up. Yeah, Swift more moving first. If you push back enough, did push... Ooh, we have the Nem Tablo, but the Nem Tablo nearly fucking died, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is a Nem Tablo, but the Nem Tablo is nearly dead. No Despair Sense will return, and we also have no strip on that Tian Lang. The no strip on the Tian Lang. Is huge. We have no despair stunners coming this time. You could go for skill two already. Doesn't go for skill two. Goes for the armor break. Lands the armor break once again, showing that Tian Lang is so strong. Armor break on that Wu Yong or on the Juno. As two from that Marsha killing off that unit. Tablo on triple Nem. Damn. Nice idea. Did not work out. But also the unit nearly died. That's how much it Nemed. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we do have some comeback chances with the Despair on the Chung Pong. Yeah, Diligent uh, uh, definitely has a strong box, but credits where credits due, I would say that Monkey played very well. He had a very interesting draft with that Young style that he played. Yeah, I'm not sure what the idea was behind the Tableau, because even if the Tableau goes for a skill 3, you would have taken the turns afterwards anyways.
Going back with that, she will add a cigar. Definitely looking at the European meta over there. But that's also something that uh, Chinese players have been picking up. Oh yeah, we, Sierra has like the bomb explodes reduce attack. I don't really like that. Uh, Duchen is out. Yes, Duchen is actually already out. Takuso made work of that. Praha, pra Kinky, okay. Definitely units that can't really deal with Kinky unless the Kinky is stunned. If Kinky is stunned, Oliver can definitely deal with that already. Okay, pretty typical draft from Takuzo with the more CP. You could Douglas ban more, but then your Douglas most likely gets banned as well. And I'm not entirely sure if you want to play into that. You would take first turn on the Chiwu though, with that. Decides to go for Mayo win. Have you pulled Kingi? Nope, it's one of the very few LD4s that I still lack. Douglas here would have been a must ban. Mayo Wang is not a must ban, but I would say still pretty likely on the ban. Taking the time for the bans. Still the Mayo Wing ban, and we have the CP ban on the other side. Yeah, I would say Oliver or CP are the, the right bans over here. Like CP, if CP was despair, then I would say uh, banning CP is stronger than banning Oliver. Because the big factor is Kinky getting stunned. Whoa, is that a Swift more? Could be that that is a Swift more. No despair stuns whatsoever though. If you go for skill 3 right now, you're not really going to land it. And you're also most likely not going to push up anything. Also on the two water units right now, you can't land anything except for S2s. Takuso is uh, looking in a pretty decent spot over here. It's resisted once again on that Oliver. Oliver doesn't really like to land things today. They will get stuns on that Kinky. No stun on the Kinky though. No stun on anything. Wow, that's a sucky carnal. Like, Takuso's reaction is also like, what the fuck did that Karno even do? <laughs> we have the glancing over here. What can that glancing do? Only on the Karno, you're never gonna land to provoke. Goes for the Oliver. Misses on both things. We she is she, what the fuck is this resistance over here? There's so fucking much resistance going back and forth over here. I guess that's a Dispair, uh, or a Dispair Kinky as well, otherwise you wouldn't go for skill 2 over there, but you would have aimed for a skill 1, uh, and then maybe a proc on an armor break skill 2. But he was probably looking for Dispair Stunts over there. Uh, one turn away. One turn away Praha. Doesn't get it though. Uh, Kinky though, with the glancing, you're landing less armor breaks, which means less, um... Healing as well, because of that cleansing that you have. I think Kinky can solo, but it really depends if Kinky can get some good life drains in. Because these units do do quite some damage to the Kinky as well. Landing that Provoke. Okay. Mm, okay, can push back on. That's nowhere near enough damage to actually land that properly. So you really need... Like, the moment you Despair Stun it right now, you have chances. But as long as you don't Despair Stun it... The Kinky might do enough. No Despair Stun and Resisted on the Glancing. That is absolutely huge. That might be game over there. Because, yeah, you have to stun it right here on that skill 3. You have to. If you don't, you're done. Doesn't stun it, just the slow. The slow is not going to be enough. Stunts. We need stunts. Kinky's going to solo the motherfucker. 4.5 case per hit. Nope. Full resistant and 100 rest kinky. Well, still no despair stunts on the kinky. Kinky's gonna solo it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you have to take. I would get rid of the Oliver here. That decides not to. Ooh, that's a lot of fucking damage though. 
Joop joop. <laughs> kinky. Man, that's why I still want a kinky, man. Kinky is also using a lot of runes that you don't use in other units, so it's relatively easy to make him very strong. And he's just such a good flex pick, man. Esports? No, that's just a well-drafted kinky. We have Hey Gang ban. Interesting respect ban on Hey Gang as well. So definitely we're gonna see a Chiwu cigar from Zizong because that is probably the best opening you can do with a okay. Goes for a Vanessa instead. Well, Vanessa is more of a steal. She was not really a steal. Interestingly enough, neither of these players, or pretty much none of all of the players, we only seen one Sonia. And I would say that Sonia would be definitely a good pickup for some of these matches here as well. Is this live? Yes, it's live. We have more and Carnal being picked up. Let's see, do we want to go into some Juno kind of stuff? Pretty happy on the fire already, maybe? Or do we want to go back towards Kinky? Kinky Bruiser-ish style? Not really sure if I'm liking that much. Let's see what he locks in. Goes for the Asher, probably Prague. And goes back for the Kinky. So definitely in the match, once again, can we deal with the Kinky? Other side, we could go for Yan Hong and Nikki in the draft. Not too sure if it's super solid over here, but definitely something that you could aim up with. Otherwise, going with a Raccoonie and Miles wouldn't be too bad as well from Takuso. Goes for Yan Hong and goes for that Robo. Uh, definitely two solid picks over there as well. I would definitely say that uh, Zizong needs a fire unit in this position. You could go for Chiwu. She will ban out the Yan Hong, but you're fighting a wrong lead, so you might lose on that speed check as well. She wouldn't be too bad. You might be somewhat low on damage though, but I think he is kind of okay with it. Leo, I'm not sure about Leo because you have nothing that amplifies with Leo, and he has an Oliver, and Oliver amplifies against Leo. Uh, Douglas, Douglas is somewhat countered by both the Ryu and the uh, Yan Hong. Yan Hong has to kind of burst through a Douglas. So let's see what that is. We still have a Leo band though, and we have an Oliver band. Oliver band definitely makes sense if you draft in that Leo on the field. In this case, we have a 33 lead Asher that probably should take the first turn. We have two units not being uh, will ruined, which is definitely beneficial for uh, Zizong, but I'm not sure if he's fast enough. Okay, he is fast enough, so you can do this on the Carnal. If you land, ooh, doesn't land, that is too bad. Otherwise, you could have done that on all three units. Kind of, you, I would say you have to do this on the Carnal right now. You have S3 on the Carnal right now, and you have to hope for Provokes. Doesn't get that one again. That is definitely not great. And you definitely see the joy in Takuso's favor of seeing like, okay, I like those resists over there. We do see some heavy damage coming in from this S2. Could you insta-clear that Yeon Hong? S2 goes for it. 19k. Good damage, but not good enough. In this case, we have the Carnal skill 3. Can you do enough? Goes for the skill 2 first. Goes for Proker. Goes into that skill 3. Slows and stuns. We got a bunch of slows, bunch of stuns, but not the one that you mainly wanted, which is that kinky once again. Quite some damage going back and forth. Kinky as one. Does it do enough on the Yan Hong right now? It does do enough on Yan Hong because it landed the armor break in the first hit. However, we have the Robo with skill 3 coming in. Skill 3 on the Robo, and we have another proper on that Carnal with that skill 2. Was doing quite some damage on the last run, is doing quite some damage, and it's pretty much absorbing so much attack, but it's getting another turn. And it's pretty close to skill 3 already. Robo can cleanly go for skill 2, skill 3, actually. Goes for skill 2, lands it almost, does a lot of damage. Can this land, though? Uh, that lands, and that's pretty unfortunate, and that probably takes the victory for Takuso, I guess. Wait, we still have that Asher. Asher, can you do anything? Do you have any skills? Asher has that skill 3. Can take out the Robo, could take out the more. What do you like to hit more? Oh, but a sliver of health actually doesn't kill it. And that is going to be the victory, most likely, for Takuso. Yeah, but that stunned one, it is done. Too bad for Zizong on missing those hands on the Carnal. If he actually managed to strip that Carnal, match would have looked uh, very differently. And that is Takuso going to Bangkok. 
let's see what we can do oliver first pick once again other side do we go back to the widget cigar yes we do i would definitely steal that juno like if you want to go for a weird draft i would like juno is good into those units already juno used to be bad into widget but juno is not as bad into widget anymore so I would definitely say, like, if you got Juno again, no, that's kind of too weird. Yan Hong, Juno, definitely could get away with it, I guess. In this case, yeah, you could also kind of force it where Diligence Juno doesn't make too much sense. But I would definitely still say that Diligent could go for a um, Juno plus Ivor, what he has been doing before. In this case, goes for a little bit more of an LD Fest. Like, if I had these kind of units, <laughs> like, if I had Diligence Box, I would get a little bit further in, in my prelims as well. Or not the prelims, in the cup. My prelims, I always survived, I guess. Probably wouldn't have this year, I guess. But let's see what we have over here. But these units, man. The Laura, the Widgets, the TLN, such strong units. What is your final answer on this one, though? Yeah, I would say Juno is uh, definitely strong in here as well. Juno, okay, goes for that. With that, you would say ban out the more. Banning out the more, but on the other side, you're going to get outsped right now. I'm not too sure if I'm liking the draft of Diligent too much right here. Well, I'm also not sure if I'm liking the ban. Okay, interesting. No, Diligent would win this on Immunity. I see no world where Diligent doesn't win this just by Wusa immunity, pretty much. Like, sure, you can kill that Nefties, like Kuwano, probably not even. Uh, not enough. Not enough. If you had enough damage, would you have won the match on that? I'm not too sure. Not too sure. Let's see if that... Uh, no, I, I don't think you would have... Uh... Yeah, Wusa is uh, very strong in this draft. Absolutely. I would say that the Wajet ban was not the right ban in this moment. I would say that a Wusa ban was stronger here. But yeah, match is kind of over. Match is definitely kind of over. Very solid drafting by Diligent in this finals over here. Pretty much winning all of the drafts, I would say. Like, the other matches, he needed a little bit more luck over here and there. But in this matchup, it's just clean wins by drafts all throughout. Who do you even ban against this man? True, there's a lot of things you want to ban against this man. That's very true. Okay, we have a little bit of comeback. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. Ooh, resistance? That would have landed as a sleep. Wait, if this S1, S3? Can we land S1, S3? Uh, no, we needed that S1, S3 at that moment. If he landed that S1, S3 there, it would have fucked people up. Okay, no skills as well. Oliver moving next. If this doesn't sleep, doesn't sleep. Oliver has S3. Wait, I see comeback. I see comebacks. Yo, wait, wait, wait. There's too little damage on the side of Diligent. There is too little damage on the side of Diligent. Wait, what? Nikki too good? Nikki with the crazy healing. Nikki with the crazy damage. What? We all thought this was gone. Like, we all thought this was gone. Is this the momentum that Takuso like needed to actually take more victories? Interesting. Wait, was Diligence? I I, I was not even paying that much of attention. I thought Diligent just had that match. Did he do too little damage, or did he not get skills off, or what the hell happened? Well, I would say, like, his Nefties, ah, maybe that's it. His Nefties is very high on HP, so it doesn't do any damage. Well, for that reason, it also, um, it survived as long as it was surviving. 
Well, I would have expected Laura to do more damage as well. Oliver and Vanessa taking both speed leads, and there's no uh, Nefties this time. But there is still the more. You can ban out the more though, because after this, we, we kind of have all speed leads on the field, either banned or picked. Like the only thing, Jemaya, Chandra, and Sierra. And then Trinity and Smap, but those, those are shit anyways. Okay. Hmm, interesting. We, once again, don't see too much strips on the side of Takusa, except for the single target strips on Shizuka S1, Vanessa S2. That is a speed lead. That is a speed lead. What the? F <laughs> Who the fuck even has that thing ruined? Who the actual fuck has this thing even ruined? I've never seen Tyrone being played outside of Special League. You surprise me. You you surprise me on this one. What the actual fuck is this? Okay, he outspeeds. Wait. Okay. Okay, decent damage. Well, the big question is, you have to stun the immunity on Shizuka right now. It doesn't land on Shizuka. And we have the Tyrone moving in front. This match is so weird. Well, there's just too much additional damage. Look at the HP bars for all of those units. I would just send it with a skill 3 or a skill 2. Look at those HP bars, man. These units did all like their AoE skills and they pretty much just fucked them up. But... Now we have speed buff on the other side. Ooh, that's proc on that EU. Well, that's the first time we see a Tyrone and probably also the last. That is the first and the last. That unit is... <laughs> Those misses of strips, though. Diligent is like, what the fuck did I pick this, though? <laughs> this thing is doing nothing. But do we have skill 3 from that unit once again? Because of the Soul Protect coming up, that skill reducing call time. Oh, we're one turn away. Oh, we're one turn away. Diligent might still have this. No, oh, that's the proc on the other unit that you didn't need. No sleeps. No kills. Skill 2 would kill, skill 1 wouldn't kill. Good choice to go for skill 2. Uh, Oliver can do all of her things. Oliver doing all of her things. You don't have slow, so S2 is not going to do anything except for killing the Vanessa right now. You already had your skills up, but that is fine, I guess. Goes for skill 2. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, if Shizuka didn't resist everything, then Tyrone wouldn't have been a bad pick. That, that's absolutely true. Oh, wait. Too much damage. Too much damage coming in. The more still wants to win this game. Defense break. Do you land it? Doesn't land it though. And we're going to have Shizuka skill 3. But there's no damage on the side of... That was like the moment that, that Nikki is down. You're going to need to bring back that Nikki. Wait. Armor break Nikki is 3. It's done! Armor break Nikki has three! No way! No fucking way, man! No fucking way! Wow, that was some weird interactions, man. But, like I'm saying, Shizuka wins if Shizuka sacks. Shizuka sacked on getting that S2, or like that S3 armor break into an S2. Shizuka's just that much of a sack, man. Holy shit, she resisted all of the fucking uh, strips. If those were landed, those were, like, done for. But, man, this is just stupid. Prevent Shizuka. I was playing Prevent on Shizuka on uh, Special League. Why? Because the unit fucking stupid. Like, there's no other answer for it than the unit fucking stupid for the sack potential that it has. Like, that unit is just stupid. Well, we go back to comfortable picks. Where we have Diligent on the cigar. Like... Ta Takuzo doesn't want Stoic to go to sleep. Like, it's fucking 5 in the morning for Stoic or some shit. He doesn't let him sleep. We go back with the Shizuka. He knows, like, I, I need to sack and then I get it. 2-3 watch, I can get it. Oh, we shall see. Going in with some more heavy LDs. 
Okay, back with the Hey Gang. Hey Gang most likely banned in this draft. I would say another AoE stripper on the side of Diligent. Diligent going in with a Wind Robo right now would definitely be very strong. Diligent always looks worried. True. Diligent needs to draft in a... Even Gianna right now would not be bad. I'm pretty sure he has Gianna. Goes for CP. Hmm. Not sure if I like that one that much over here, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I would say that Flint, no, Flint's also not that great, but you have to ban the Hey Gang. Like, Hey Gang is 100% banned. Other side, we have that Nefty's ban. So, in this case, how much can the Carnal do? Or how much can Shizuka resist like 16,000 things again? Okay, let's see. We have that skill 3 rocking in. In this case, would not boost up the Nemesis enough. Of that Nikki. Oh, <laughs> it was so late to remove from that Shizuka. It was literally the last fucking hit to remove from that Shizuka. Otherwise, the Shizuka would have been like, nope. It was resisted on the on the increased cool time. So, uh, I'm not sure. The increased cool time is not on the Shizuka. There's no increased cool time on Shizuka. If you stun right now, but not on the Shizuka, you're going to get provoked by the Shizuka. You have to land this provoke right now on the Shizuka. Oof, that is landed. <laughs> the fucking Shizuka, man. I hate that unit. It's such a dumb unit. Oh, we have a Procker over there. Does he land? Doesn't land because of the glancing. Okay, that's where we go for a little bit of cycling. A little bit more cycling. No stunners once again on the Shizuka. Fucking hell, man. Provoke on the Shizuka. Nice. Okay, yeah, we did this match is over. <laughs> well, I've got three to two. Yeah, this should, uh, this should kill. Nice. Nice. Well, Takuso made it a very interesting match. Definitely very well played by both of them.